for clicking on my channel, Joy's Way. I'm Joy. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning supporter of mine, welcome back, Austin Peterson. So today we're going to do a get ready with me. Hopefully it'll be a chitty chatty get ready with me. I want to retry out this um, for ya. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Uh, foundation. I'm going to try the contour again. I'm going to use the primer, but this time I'm just going to use a little bit because I think I think that's why I went wrong on my last try-on with it. Um, and then I have my Juvia's Place for my brow, my contour, um, or my bronzer, and my cheek. And for my eye, I'm going to use the You're the Shit Palette by... Um, Selena Spooky Boo, and I did do a video with this particular palette because my son Virgil bought it for me, um, kind of like a um, like a joke because I've been trying to like mess with him since I've had my YouTube channel. Well, him and all my kids really be like, "When are you gonna buy me some makeup?" Blah 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 blah, and he always be telling me he ain't never gonna buy me any makeup. Well, then he came across Selena Spooky Boo and a shit. I don't. Oh, here it is. <laughs> And this costume online on a short or something like that. And it was um, advertising You're the Shit palette. And so he decided that he was going to buy it for me. And also be like, ha ha ha. I finally got you makeup type of thing. And I also wanted to show you. I have, um, these are from, just a second. They are... Um, lilyannfox.com and that is the actual pattern. If your nails are longer, then that's, you know, you get more, but I have, have short nails, but these are some of the, um, nail, um, stickers that I, um, won in, um, Kimmy's Happy Places. I can't remember what it was for, but it was a giveaway and I won it. Alrighty. So my cat was hiding in my closet and now she wants out. So I'm going to let her out. So, so I let the cat out and I'm going to take these bangs and I'm gonna put them up here and I'm going to take this clip because it's going to bug me. I'm just going to right clip it down here just to keep them out of the way for right now. This is bugging me too. So I'm going to grab a band and do this. I don't know why hair bugs me. I don't think it always did. I just think as I get older, and I'm going to kind of clip this up here. Just to try to keep it off of my neck. Look at this is one of my chokers. So cute. So cute. I love it. There we go. Better than nothing. Okay, the first thing that I want to do is I really quickly want to put my brow on because this brow bar um, soap thing said you could put it on plain, which we did before, or you could put it on after you put your product on. So I have Juvia's Place. Um, this is called um, Sculpt Eye Shade, and I use that one right there. I think I think that's one that I decided worked the best for me. I guess we're about to find out, huh? So I got my brows done, and it was a chore. So I'm getting this ready. I don't know if it's going to do anything. I have no idea. But we're going to see. Now, the last time when I did this, I think it kind of like made them kind of like stiff, stay in place like all day type of thing. So I was impressed with that. That's why I wanted to see if maybe, if just maybe, if you can put the makeup on it and then do this and then it stay in place all day. Kind of look good. So, like, so far it's not like. I like when did anything out. So I was afraid of I was afraid I was gonna grab like the makeup and pull it off. It's not. Huh. Do you see where there is like some pieces that look like it's part of the look? It's, it looks like I barely even touched it. Just scratched it up a little bit. Now we're going to try the primer again. And I'm just going to use a little bit. Like a little bit. Because last time I used way too much, I think. And so I'm just gonna put little bits on. And then if um what? And then if it don't work this time, then it's gotta be the um, foundation itself. Just little bits. I'm putting on just enough to cover everything. 
say that I have it on, but not too much to where I cannot sabotage the product like I think it did last time. And I'm going to let that um, go ahead and soak into my face, and I'm going to go ahead and prep my eyes really quick. I used my Ace Beauty and Light to prime my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with shit hit the fan anyways so i'm just going to use this as my base coat and then i don't know what color i'm gonna go with but selena selena spooky boo she has a youtube channel and a tiktok and an instagram and um she has another palette called the um ouija board palette i want to get that one and I might just now because, like, I've been, like, making excuses why not to get certain things. But now that I have one, might as well go ahead and get the other one right. And it's probably the wrong way to look at it. But um, I wore this particular palette a couple of times because I did do a video. Unfortunately, I was really ouchy in that video. And what I mean by ouchy is it was um, right after Easter and I did not have the best... Easter, so when I made my video, I just like bitched about it, but I was um really sour, and I cannot have that type of content on my channel because I watch my own videos. Like sometimes I'll watch my videos all day long because I don't know if I'm trying to see where I can improve or if I just really really enjoy them. I'm not sure, but um anyways. And because I watch my videos, they have to try to be as positive as possible. Like, I can't watch anybody's videos where they're like, this person pisses me off, and I hate this person, and, you know, blah, 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 blah. And that was kind of like how my video was. Like, I was really bashing a couple, mainly one person that I seen um, during Easter weekend. And, I mean, I don't really care if they know how I feel. I don't really care. Um what they think, but unless I can, I guess, not be in a negative mood and talk shit, you know, I just, I just don't want it on my channel, so I went ahead and, didn't, um, re I mean, I started editing it, and when I started editing it, like, I realized, like, that's when I couldn't put it on my actual channel, but, um, this is, like, the third time that I've used this palette, and I really like it, I really do, so if she uses, like, the same company that made this palette, because I think this palette was made before her, um, Ouija board one. So she's using the same company and the same formula and everything that I definitely, definitely want that Ouija board. Now, the only thing that I didn't really care for is her shiny colors. <sighs> Unfortunately, they're not that shiny. So next, I'm going to use Taco Tuesday. And I'm going to put that right here. Oh, that's, that's pretty, though. Then I'm going to come down here to um, Beef Stew and put that right here. Because the one color was just base color, right? All right. So let's go ahead and let me get this drawn out. Holy crap! So can you see my eyes? Can you see how it looks like that? Like I want to cry. I'm using this um, Patrick Ta mascara for my top lids, and I was doing this eye, and I was putting it on, and I poked myself in the eye, and the actual mascara itself like is burning my eyes so bad. That it made my other eye water. I don't think I've ever had that happen with anything in my life. So I used the eyeliner that I used the first time that I tried the foundation. The 3D waterproof um, liquid eyeliner. Works so good. And it is. It is waterproof. Um, I put the matching mascara on my bottom eyes. But you see all the black underneath? My eyes are still watering because of this Patrick Ta. Like I don't know if I ever want to use this again. Um, but whatever. So now we're here for foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and let's get that shook up. All right, so I got it shook up and put a little bit on my hand. This time I'm going to use my foundation brush instead of, I mean, I do have my sponge here, but I just want to try something different to see, you know, because sometimes it could be the brush. Sometimes I, the products don't go together. Sometimes it's the person that's doing it. So I got that on and I'm just taking my sponge 
it's damp. Um, I got it ready probably an hour ago. I'm just going to do this so far 10 out of 10. This is so much better. I'm going to go ahead and say that I just use way too much primer. And sometimes if you use too much of something and you add something else to it, it's just going to beat up. It's just going to look nasty. Excuse me. I have so thirsty. But so here is, I think, uh, I don't want my videos to be long, but my videos are always longer than what I want them to be. And I have my true ride and die coming and watching me every time I post a video and I appreciate that. Oh, and I don't, I know I don't tell you guys too much about my life. I tell you a little bit about my life, but maybe not as much as some people do. But today is the second. Let me check my phone really quick. I'm charging it. <laughs> um, today is today's April seventeenth, and I have went now twelve days without smoking a cigarette. I quit smoking April fifth. I just woke up and I said, you know what? I'm done. And the weird thing is, is that's pretty much how I did everything in the past, like with my drugs or when I was an alcoholic. Um, that's just how I've always done it is I've always just went, I'm done. And so I just quit cold turkey. This is the concealer. We're just going to use a little bit because I don't really care for it anyways. Um, I'm going to just use the sponge, but anyways, uh, doesn't that look like it's yellow? So this is really weird. The foundation comes off as cool toned. What did I just do with the concealer? I literally, oh, here it is. And the concealer comes off as warm toned. And I don't know why you would mix warm and cool together. Or are you supposed to? Is that why I don't like concealer? Let me know. If you know more about foundation and concealer than me, let me know if it's supposed to be that way. Because usually when I try, um, like, I usually try to match it. So if I get, like, a neutral colored foundation, I try to get, like, you know, because I can wear cool tones and I can wear neutral tones. I think I can't just wear straight on warm tones because I'm not warm, you know, I don't have the warm um, undertones or whatever it is. But I can't get away with wearing certain neutrals. I don't know. Like, is my, um, is it not wet enough? Let me get it a little bit wet. Yeah, a little wet. Or do I need to put maybe some more on? Here, let me... Let me look in my damn mirror. I don't know. All right. Well, anyways, that's. Uh, that is the concealer. So I use Juvia's Place. It's like one of the things that I use. Um, and bronzed, bronzy light because it is their lightest one. I have used both, but I tend to favor this one. I'm not 100% positive, but I think this is cool toned and that's warm toned. And so I've tried both of them though. And I think that the top one um, works better for me. Could be wrong, but that's what I think. So that's what I'm going with. And I'm sure I probably contour the wrong way. I don't really care though. Juvia's place, I use the Blushed Rogi Volume 2, and um, I can wear both, but I do favor this one because I just think it's more natural on me than the other one sometimes. I don't know. I've never really liked my cheeks to like pop out because like my face gets red in the summertime when I'm out in the sun, and it gets red like, like red, red, like trying to look for something like, like red, red, like my face gets red, red. And I've always tried to cover that up. So I don't like to cover up the red and then bring it out in pink. It's so weird, but do you like that? Now let me mix it a little bit. Um, so I've went 12 days with no cigarettes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use this LA colors, um, strobing highlight. Cause I don't, it's the first one I grabbed. First one I grabbed. So I'm gonna go ahead and no, I'm not gonna use that one. Use, use this brush right here. But um so I went 12 days 
no smoking. Haven't even really craved it. Okay, I'm lying. I do crave it sometimes, like after a good meal, when I first wake up in the morning, things like that. And so I'm also going to try to quit smoking weed, but I'm going to change it to edibles and CBDs because eventually I'm going to have to be off of weed. So if I can just get off of the whole smoking kick on everything, then that would be great, I think. I'm going to put a little bit of my highlight up here and a little bit over here. A little bit more over here. Alrighty. I didn't even think about a lipstick. Let's see, the closest one I have is my MAC. Alrighty, so this is my finished look. Let me know. What do you think? Of course, I love it. I've already looked in my little handy dandy mirror. And I'm going to say that, um, like, to me, I can tell, like, this is, you know, I got foundation on. And so far, it don't look too bad. Um, it don't look as good as the um, L'Oreal Geller foundation tint stuff that I like. But it doesn't look as bad as the Anastasia... Was it Anastasia Beverly Hills I had? I don't remember. Yeah, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I think it was. Um, it didn't look as bad as that. So that is a good thing. And I think it matches pretty good with my skin. It's a little bit off, but I think I was able to make it work. As of right now, I'm going to leave it on my face. I don't know. It kind of depends on what's going to happen later on in the day, but I think that I am done trying everything on that I wanted to try. Now my bangs are being stupid because I pinned them back there, but that's what happens. Let's see if I can... <sighs> Alrighty, so I do hope that you enjoyed this little chitty chatty get ready with me. Was it chitty chatty? Did I talk enough? I don't know. I'll find out when I'm editing. I also hope you have a wonderful day. Remember that I do love you, remain awesome, and peace out, awesome group.